I'm Christopher Kong San Chun. I'm a senior consultant in StarMed Specialist Center. I am a gastroenterologist and a liver specialist. There are various symptoms of uh, hepatitis B infection. It could be just like a viral illness, just the person feeling as if they have fever and just feeling generally unwell. And some people, they develop yellowness in their eyes and darker colored urine, and this means that they have developed jaundice. And some people, they have no symptoms at all, or the symptoms are very minimum. They are found to have hepatitis B in the past if they go for things like a health screen or some routine blood test and they have found that their liver function test is abnormal. There's a group of people who unfortunately don't have a smooth path in their hepatitis B infection. They develop very aggressive damage to their liver called fulminant hepatitis. These people may go on to need something serious like a liver transplant. Hepatitis B carriers in the long term may develop end-stage liver disease called cirrhosis. And if a person develops cirrhosis, they're more predisposed to other complications like liver cancer. Even before developing cirrhosis, unfortunately the hepatitis B virus itself can cause the liver to develop liver cancer even before there are further damage to the liver. When people who have had certain symptoms and they feel unwell and if they develop jaundice, they get investigated and then they might find that they have hepatitis B. The other part is when people have abnormal liver function tests or blood tests and then investigation may reveal that they have hepatitis B. The interesting thing about hepatitis B diagnosis is there are multiple blood tests that tell different things about the hepatitis B. Hepatitis B could be the acute phase, the initial part of the infection. It could be the chronic phase, that means that it becomes hepatitis B carrier. Or they could have gone and cleared most of their hepatitis B infection in their body. The blood test that tells us if we are hepatitis B carriers is something called a hepatitis B surface antigen blood test. If that's positive, then the person is a hepatitis B carrier. If they have the hepatitis B surface antibody present, but have the hepatitis B surface antigen negative, then we need to ascertain or to find out whether the antibody is due to previous vaccination or due to previous infection. The way to identify this is to do a hepatitis B total core antibody. If this is positive, then the hepatitis B surface antibody is due to the fact that the person has previously had hepatitis B infection. If the hepatitis B total core antibody is negative, then the hepatitis B surface antibody is due to previous vaccination. One important blood test for hepatitis B is the hepatitis B virus DNA level. This tells us roughly how much virus there is in the body. For most people who have cleared the virus, the level is undetectable unless the immune system gets suppressed or compromised. Hepatitis B carriers will have detectable hepatitis B DNA level in the blood. 